Good morning, y'all. So today is just a quick video to go over how long a lease normally lasts. My name is Tracy Lenz. I'm a petroleum engineer and owner of Pecan Tree Oil & Gas. Pecan Tree Oil & Gas helps mineral owners understand what they own and get fair valuations and help for the minerals. When you lease your minerals to a company, you sign a term and it's called the primary term. And that's typically three to five years. They have the right to come in and drill those minerals. Beyond that, there's sometimes an option period, like an optional extension that they can pay the same, like a set bonus in order to extend without having to do anything. Thing. Sometimes there's a continuous drilling clause or continuous operation clause saying that something has to happen every 90 to 180 days. But usually there's just a set three years, they have rights to do whatever they want in three years without having a set time limit on that. After that primary term is over, there's other clauses that are in that lease. And your lease really is what determines how long this will last. But there are some industry standards you can go by. Typically, a lease is good so long as there is production somewhere on the lease. That could be either on your land that is leased or something that is pooled with the lease. Production can be defined in multiple different ways and usually the, the term is something like producing and paying quantities or producing in economic quantities or sometimes just producing at all. You want to have some definition of what producing is otherwise a little poof of gas could be considered producing and that's not ideal. You want there to be some economic prospect in what's considered producing. If you're still negotiating your lease, make sure that is clearly defined. Work with a lawyer, work with someone who is professional in coming up with these terms. The reason this is important is this lease will be in effect for a very long time if the wells produce for a very long time. That's just how these work is as long as there is production, it continues indefinitely. Typically, there's not any limit on how long that can last. I've seen leases that are good 100 years that were made back in the early 1900s and it said, hey, as long as there's production on this lease, we're good to go, these terms all apply and there's nothing you can really do about it because this is a contract that everybody signed, everybody agreed to. It would take a lot of legal effort to get out of that. It has happened that I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a legal expert. That's where you really need to get with a legal expert in order to fight it and expect a fight. So if your minerals are leased, expect it to be leased for a while if it's producing. If it's not producing, it all depends on those terms that are in your lease. Please remember to subscribe so that you're alerted for whenever I post new stuff. And then also like this video if you want more of this type of content. It really helps me know what to spend my time on. Thanks. Have a great day.